This is the setup, and like all real ones, I sit on the floor and do my makeup because the lighting from that window, that's the best you're gonna get. It's so good. Good morning, everyone. We're doing a get ready with me because I'm going to Aintree to watch. Do you remember Charlie D, the ex racehorse? Well, today he is back being a racehorse. He's in a charity race, so we're gonna go and support Rally, although I am still scarred from where he bit me. And yes, it does look like a love bite, but what can you do? I need to leave the house in an hour because I'm the designated driver. So let's just make a start. I'm out of my comfort zone being a beauty YouTuber. I normally just do this and get it done. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Oh, this is the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. Life changing, it's very good. So, I think we'll do that with a brush. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but I like my makeup to look nice. Although, I have been uh, doing things with a winged eyeliner lately. So maybe I'll do a wing. My biggest problem is that I don't know what to wear because it's a, not Ascot, it's an Aintree. And although it's a flat race that Charlie's in, because that's a charity race and they're not gonna make amateurs go over big hurdles, um, it is technically a national hunt meeting, I think, I might have got that wrong, but I think it is. And the vibe for those sorts of things are normally much more casual than it is for flat racing, so people won't be in dresses and heels. It's more of like a tweed and boots vibe. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear because I wanted to wear a dress and heels. I don't get many occasions to dress up and when I do, I want to dress up. Right, foundation is done. What will I, I just go and conceal. My skin is like, as soon as something is off whack with me, whether it's like hormones or whether I'm ill or like my diet's just had a bit too much of sugar or something. My skin is the first thing to complain and it's so annoying. It's like, why can't it be something that is not on my face? Why can't I get like a rash or something? A rash, I don't want a rash, but no, I would. I'd rather a rash. Nothing too excessive going on here. As much as possible of my makeup is vegan and cruelty free, or at least I try. Sometimes I get it wrong, and some things, like the MAC eyeshadow that I might use as well, I've had, I mean, I bought this when I was 18, so I wasn't vegan then, I didn't know. I wouldn't buy from MAC anymore, um, but there obviously is a bit of a hangover, and I'm not gonna throw products away, just because my ethics have changed, or I'm more aware of what is ethical, in my opinion. Those sorts of like, plummy, warm, warm browns, plums, bronzes, bronzes. So my lips just don't have any colour to them ever and it's very frustrating. Right, I think for colour that will do because it's obviously daytime, it's, racing just is daytime isn't it? So we're not gonna go like a full on smoky eye. I'm gonna keep it quite daytime appropriate. And I honestly don't think I can pull off a super dark eye, it just never looks good on me. I've recently been on a bit of a journey, trying to figure out what on earth is my skin tone, and I think I found it. I believe I am what they call, is it cool olive or pale olive? Because I've got these warm undertones, that like my skin is like yellow and my veins are green, well green and blue, which is, that's been driving me crazy as well. Cool olive, because I go really pale, but I always just look a little bit yellow. I'm gonna take the purple and just do a little bit of a liner situation. I might wing it out, but purple looks good on me because I've got green eyes. Yeah, they're definitely working, but if anyone notices, then why are they looking at me so much? Okay, I feel like the eyes are done. I'm gonna just put some cream highlight on the inner corner and up the side of my nose. 
because there's a girl on TikTok that told me that I should do this. Okay, so when you put your head back, it looks really nice. I'll do this, and then all day I'm gonna have to throw my head back when I start laughing. Keep it though whilst we're here. This concealer by The Ordinary is very good. I don't like to conceal like everywhere under my eye because I think it just creases and it looks very unnatural. Whereas if you actually just cover up the dark points right there, it doesn't look so stark. I think we're getting somewhere. I might just conceal her again. I didn't think she was that bad, but you're proving us wrong. Okay, right. We're gonna stick with cream products for a little bit. I might do highlight. Am I glowing? I've got this like autumn-y, plummy blush. Blush? Autumn-y, plummy blush from Kiko. Which, I don't know if everything at Kiko is vegan, but I feel like it is. I haven't got the face to pull off blush on the apples. I've got to sort of take it up on my cheekbone. Pretty much just where I put my highlight. Do a little bit on the nose. Temples. A little bit at the and a bit on the chin. I feel like my lips could really benefit. You know when you can get them like tattooed lipstick? Just to give them, I mean look at them. I haven't got the skin tone to pull off that sort of lip. What is going on? Mum, Dad, what are my genetics? I know it doesn't look very well blended and that's because it's not but it will be later. We'll take it a bit down the neck as well. We're done, makeup is done. I need to sort my hair out and decide what I'm gonna wear. I think we're gonna have this little wool skirt with a black polo neck or roll neck, whatever is called a jumper. And then this cape that I've also had for years, but I love it. I don't really know, but we're gonna try it on. Well, no, I'm gonna do my hair first and then we'll try it on and we'll make it work. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. She's looking good. Ignore the mess over there. I moved it from over there so you wouldn't see it. But here we are, and now I've got to leave the house in five minutes, so I don't have time to be tidying up for you. I'm gonna decide what jewelry. So I think I'm gonna wear this watch, even though it needs a new battery and it's not telling the time. So I need to get the cape, I need to get my bag, and then I'm ready. Let me put this cape on with one hand. I haven't got this filming malarkey down yet. I don't know where to put things. So maybe if I put, what if I put you up there? How's that? I think that's it, I think. I think she's got it. I don't know what bag, maybe this bag, cause it's here. Yes, yes, you'll do. Black bag, black tights I suppose. And it's a crossbody, so I won't have to worry about holding it. Okay, yeah, okay, let's go. We're doing so well. I'm gonna take, I need to take my phone, obviously. I'll take some lip stuff. I always take makeup with me. Do I ever reapply it? Do I? No. Like when I go on a night out, or when I used to go on nights out, I'd always take like touch up makeup. It was never touched. I never touched up my makeup. I just can't be bothered. I feel like once people have seen you, like once you've made your entrance, who cares what happens from that point onwards? Like, you know, the impact has hopefully been made and I'm not gonna worry about what I look like after that point, you know? Life's too short. Goodbye, my little babies. I will see you later. Mira does need a clean, but. My hair looks good, doesn't it? Thanks guys, thank you. Right, classic FM on for the dogs. They've got water. 
They're chilling there. Oh, you good boys. I'll see you later, okay? I love you. Bye. Okay, let's go. Guys. Guys, massive drama. I've forgotten my sunglasses, so I'm going to be blinded all day. <laughs> Charlie. Arthur, don't go down on him. Arthur. Entry on Juice Countryside. Go on, Charles. Hello, I'm now home. It's a bit later than I would have liked. You know how these things are. It just took ages to kind of get on the road and then traffic in cities is just, I don't think I could ever live in a city. I'm not that kind of girl. So as every day ends, I'm going to get changed now out of my little fit. I'm so full. I've got a bit of a bit of a baby going on. I wish I'd have got more shots of my outfit and like how I actually looked today, but today wasn't about me. <gasps> it's not about me. It's not always about me, shockingly. So yeah, just imagine that I looked really good. And I've turned back into a pumpkin. I'm going to take these little doggies for a walk, a little walk around the paddock, and then I'm gonna have a cup of tea, remove all of this, and have an early night. I'm gonna go.